Dr. Budoff, what is Dupuytren's contracture? Dupuytren's contracture is a genetic disease. It's from Viking ancestry, believe it or not. And they got around, so it doesn't matter what your racial background is. They may have uh, infiltrated, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, you get this uh, cord down here in the palm of the hand. It goes into the fingers and it curls your fingers down so you can't straighten them out. If you take meat, the fascia around the steak, that white stuff, that thickens. It's not a tendon, it's the white stuff around the steak that thickens, becomes pathologic, and leads to the problems. How is it diagnosed? It should be diagnosed by a hand surgeon. It's a pretty obvious diagnosis for us, but it can be misdiagnosed by others who aren't that familiar. Sometimes you just get nodules and people that aren't that familiar will think it's a tumor and biopsy it or take it out surgically. So you invite an unnecessary surgery. So, you know, uh, you want a hand surgeon to treat it. So you should have it diagnosed by a hand surgeon. What happens if you don't treat it? It progresses. It progresses uh, faster in men than women. And it really depends on your genetic program. But over time, you get a cord, which is like a little pebble. And then you get a cord, which is like a rope, and it curls the fingers down. And you want to get it addressed when the MP joint, meaning this big knuckle, is at about 30 degrees, meaning you can't straighten it. Don't do this table testing people talk about without getting technical on a video. This is much better to just... If it's 30 degree contraction here in the MP joint or the proximal endophalangeal joint is involved at all, you want to get it done. You don't want to wait till it's like down like that and very, very difficult to treat. People have had amputations from it, not in my hands, but that's been done in severe cases. So you really want to get it done when it's appropriate and not waiting too long. How is it treated? Okay. You just have a nodule without a significant contracture. It's tender when you grab a steering wheel or you use tools. You just inject that with a steroid. Some people think it might limit the uh, speed of the disease progression. I'm not sure about that. But it can take down the tenderness and uh, make that better. There are different um, ways to treat it. I'm going to go through the ones that I do less. Uh, if you just have a cord involving the MP joint, a big thick cord. You can do what's called a needle apeneurotomy and just cut that in the office. Now that works well for the MP joint, does not work for the PIP joint. And it does come back, most of them come back within a year or two. So it's sort of like going to the dentist, it's not definitive, you need to go back, you know, over time. And so uh, that's not definitive care. Uh, then there's something called Zyaflex, which is collagenase. Their patent just ran out or is about to run out. They're really pushing this. It's the same thing as a needle ape neurotomy. A needle is about 30 cents, 50 cents, somewhere in there. The Zyaflex is three to $4,000. So you can see why they're pushing it, but it's not any different than cutting with a needle. You cut it, you cut it. And I got uh, some statistics down here. Uh, usually for both the needle and Zyaflex are the same. Um, a third of the contract remains. I guess that's okay. Um, but it only works a third of the time if there's more than one joint involved. So if you have both the MP and the IP joint where it doesn't do that well and by a year or two, most of them come back, all, almost all of them come back by five years. And the complications, I haven't had one yet, but remember you're doing this blindly. I mean, a hand surgeon, only have it done by a hand surgeon. We know where the nerves and the arteries are, but the Dupuytren's contraction can displace them. So, there's a 5% injury to nerves and to arteries. There was a, uh, a report where 66 tendons were cut. That's a big deal. Uh, for uh, the PIP joint, I don't do it for that. The complication rate for the needle is 24%. For the Zyaflex, the three to $4,000 collagenase, it's 93%, meaning you're lucky to not get a complication. So, I'm not such a fan, I think you can tell. Um, I definitely do the needle epineurotomy for the uh, appropriate patients. Uh, it's done in the office, you just numb it up, you cut it, you extend it. And I use that to temporize the MP joints involved, like dentists, they're 63, they can retire in two years, they just wanna get a year or two for relief, so I'll do that for them. Um, I don't do it for the PIP joint involved, I think there are better ways to handle that. Uh, 
Now, how do I treat most of them? Uh, if they fail Zyaflex or a needle at the epineurotomy, which they will over time, it comes back again. I excise it surgically, and that's definitive. Never had one come back in the area where I've taken them. So if I take it off the small finger, could it come back to the thumb? Yeah, I mean, but that's not coming back. That's just a disease that was unaddressed. And you only address a pathologic disease. You don't go do the whole hand. Uh, I've had excellent success. The key to surgical excision, which is definitive, is to leave part of the palm open. It's called the open palm technique, named after its inventor, McCash, the, the McCash technique. Leave part of it open. It is looking gross for four to six weeks, but you can shower after three days, keep it wrapped, and do most stuff. You just obviously don't want to submerge it or get it dirty for a while. You start therapy uh, two days after the surgery, and because it's open, all the evil humors, the swelling can drain out, the pain is minimal, uh, there's like no stiffness, and people do really well. I tell people it's like, school those who do their homework do a lot better than those who don't so you go to therapy they give you homework if you do your homework you don't even need that much therapy and uh you just get your motion back and they do really really well so it's it's easy to recommend um and uh it's a definitive cure so uh basically if it gets to the point where it needs to be treated uh past an injection and if it's not tender, just a nodule, you don't need to do anything. It's just observing. comes back when the MP joint is at 30 degrees or the PIP joint that's involved. If it's just the MP joint, I'll just cut it with a needle. Um, if it's more involved, I think surgical excision using the open palm technique where it's extremely well. You don't need skin graft or anything fancy. Just leave it open. After it heals, it looks like a normal incision. Like you can't tell it was ever left open. They do really well. And it's an outpatient surgery. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Budov. Thank you.